hello guys in today's video we're going to see how a young kenyan single mother struggles selling avocados in an open hair market with a wheelbarrow i hope you enjoy this kind of videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe tune in all your post notification by turning on the bell bell and don't forget to subscribe we are on the road to 30,000 subscribers today's video i'm doing something different my name is kem tobea this is my first time seeing this face on your channel and i uh, love you so much this is an open hair market in nairobi kenya nairobi is one of the it's capital city of kenya let's enjoy the video don't forget to like this and don't forget to support this kind of videos on patreon account paypal sendwave world remit and pesa the links will be on the description down below all over i'm kim tobea so subscribe and support the channel on paypal the email is on the screen the email account thank you <coughs> Yes, I could see this now. I'm not sure how to do it. This is the baby. This is Gloria's baby. This is the baby. Mananas. 
store and she goes to the market and finds like new fruit in seasons on a good price. She also adds to her grocery. Now we're preparing to go off the market where Gloria sells down her avocados, her small businesses. Um, she usually goes with the wheelbarrow because the space they can be chased away at any time because you can see that's an open air space which means that they can be chased away by city council or the people who have like like shops on or uh, and they're avoiding to do that so she usually goes with the wheelbarrow she usually goes to the market at around six sometimes six in the evening it just depends on when the time she gets out of the market and she will usually sell until late night so avocados are in seasons a high season and surely she <laughs> Actually, sells the avocados at fifty shillings, and she basically depends on the avocado for her day-to-day -day daily. Uh, selling this is her main, um, a main her soap where she gets where this is where she gets her food from, where this is where she pays her rent, and uh, yeah, so she usually gets lots of customer because sometimes she gets a lot of customer because of avocado, like the living standard of Kenya, like the main her household, they depend on a one dollar a day like their food they eat one dollar a day like one hundred Kenyan shillings so many people choose to eat avocado because it's uh, much cheaper than buying meat or buying chicken and this is most affordable so it's really good but the environment for the virus the current world, world as it is right now the curfew has been for cup couple of years right now the cafe have been so bad like uh, the cafe starts at 4 a.m. and uh, it turns at uh, around 10 10 in the evening so she has to sell the avocado she has to sell all the avocado or they'll spoil and that will mean bad business and she will end up with low profit and remember this is where she gets her food this business helps her like maintain her lifestyle eating food this is where she gets the food this is where she gets money to support her child she has one child and she lives in in a single room in nairobi and you know nairobi is really expensive when a single room is around five thousand kenya shillings a month so imagine she has to sell and to get profits for maybe five dollar that way she will be able to sustain and because the economy has been so bad in kenya right now everything is just super high transportation has been affected also with these uh, curfews that have been placed by the government so she has to know how to mitigate and to know how she will survive in this nairobi and these current affairs so she just take it uh the struggle with ace and do what she can to support her child that's her child she usually goes to sell with her child because she has no one she lives alone and to take the child to a daycare it will cost uh, more uh, money that she doesn't have so she has to sell with her kid on the roadside 
and they open her market so it's a really hassle and that's why she have to be with her baby where she sells because she have no babysitter and she can't leave the child in the house unattended so she prefers how many hours she's with the child at the roadside so she can take care of her okay guys Oh, 